everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm doing another stitch fix unboxing for those of you who don't know how the service works it is basically an online personal shopper when you first sign up to the service you will fill in a profile and this will include kind of your height and what size clothes you are in different things what you tend to wear on a daily basis what kind of fashion you are into and um, also what kind of things you are looking for from the service you can then go on and set up what they call a fix and that is where you are sent a box of five items of clothing or accessories there is a section on the profile where you do put a sort of general note about yourself so for me i have put that even though i do work in an office it is a casual office so i don't really need sort of office attire it is mainly jeans and a t-shirt which i wear sort of seven days a week I do obviously like to have the odd dress as well and also accessories when you do set up your fix you can also put a note for that individual fix if you are looking for a certain item in particular for example for my fix this time i did ask for a pair of sandals because i am now on i say the fourth or fifth fix that i've had i believe i've had the same stylus the whole time if you aren't happy with what the stylist has sent you and you don't think that they get your style at all, you can change your stylist the next time. Or if you are happy with how they are styling you, you can continue with the same stylist. And so far, I've been pretty impressed with my stylist, so I have kept with the same one. All you have to pay for the cost of this service is a £10 styling fee. This is paid when you set up your fix, but the £10 that you pay does come off the cost of any of the items that you decide to keep. So if you are sent five items and you don't like a single one and you send everything back, you will just lose that £10. If you do keep even just one item, the £10 will come off that and you will end up paying less on checkout. You can arrange a fix as sort of frequently or infrequently as you wish. I have mine on demand where when I kind of feel like I want to try some new clothes or I feel like my wardrobe needs a little refresh, I will go and set one up. So I don't do mine on a kind of consistent basis but you can set it up to receive one every single month, one every single season, or one every two months, I think it is. But say I just kind of have mine on demand, which works perfectly for me. When you are sent your items of clothing, you are given seven days to try the items on and return what you don't want. So once I've decided which of the five items I want to keep, I log on to the app and go to the checkout and it will show each of the items and then under each of the items I can give my feedback on that individual item whether the fit was good the quality was good if I felt like it fitted my style if it wasn't for me why wasn't it for me so the stylist can then improve on it next time so after a few fixes with them the stylist will tend to get more what you want because there will obviously be copious amounts of notes on the system We'll go through and show you the five items that I've been sent this time and then I will go through the prices of items and things and, and give you my conclusion at the end. While I'm mentioning pricing, that is another thing that is part of the profile. They do have different price brackets for every item so you can set it to your budget. I think for tops it's something like £25 to £40 and then it's £40 to £75, £75 and up and things. So I do have every single one of mine on the lowest because I don't tend to sort of shop designer brands. The kinds of items that I'm sent are sort of Oasis and warehouse type products but I say you can shop more designer, more expensive if you wish. When you do get your box of clothes you do get a little envelope which has a few things inside. The first one is a note from your stylist and also some ideas of what to pair the items they've sent you with you then also get your kind of invoice as it were with the price details and everything on it and then you do also get your returns label for you to stick on the box to return any items that you don't want another fun thing that i do like on their app as well once a day you can log on and kind of do a sort of hot or not type thing where they will show you certain items of clothing and you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down as to whether you like it or not so let me show you the items that i've received if I didn't say already, I have pre-filmed try-on clips, which I will be putting up as I talk about each item. So the first one we have here is this top, which is from Sugar Hill. It's not a brand I've heard of before and not a brand I've had anything from before. So it is this really nice, I think it's navy, but it is a very, very dark navy. It may even be black, stripy top with a little pocket on the front, which says super duper in rainbow writing and it does have a three quarter sleeve on it as well. It is a really nice quality. It does feel nice and thick and would be really nice for the kind of autumn months. I do definitely like a stripy top. I obviously am wearing one right now, but I do 
always get drawn into stripy tops and on that kind of rating system on the app I'm always giving the stripy top thumbs up so I'm not surprised that I got something like this it does look nice on and it does fit me nice I just don't like the super duper on the pocket thing it's not as if it's a phrase I'd ever say so I, I don't I don't think I'd feel comfortable wearing this outside so this is one that I will be sending back and just consulting my little statement thing it is actually black I'm obviously just colorblind I think the blue trim inside threw me off I did get this in a size 12 and I say it does fit me really nice and this top costs 34 pounds but I say this one is going back next I got this dress from Morvette do think I get an item of clothing from Morvette every single box and I have kept a couple of things and they are really nice quality brand so this is a wrap dress a sort of mid-length sleeve and a little tie around the back this is definitely not a dress for me I hate wrap style dresses I really don't like my kind of boobs being on show and things like this and I was actually really surprised to receive this because I know for a fact any type of wrap dress on that rating system I have definitely given a thumbs down. I have got in my profile that I don't like my boobs to be on show, I do like them covered up so I was very surprised to get this dress so yeah this one is definitely not for me. It's a cute pattern and it looked okay on but yeah just I would be so self-conscious and constantly kind of pulling at the front and things like that plus I'm not a huge fan of the the crinkly material it's kind of like imagine crepe paper I don't know if you're able to tell at all but it's just wrinkly material I mean it'd be great because I wouldn't have to iron it but yeah this one was a major miss I don't like this one at all and this dress is £45 which is pretty average for the Morvette dresses I think I did keep a Morvette dress last month which was £45 but yeah that one's just not my style then I did get sent a pair of earrings and these are also from the brand Morvette. All of their jewellery items they do send in a sort of own brand box with then the item inside. But these are a gorgeous pair of gold studs which are leaves. I have filmed a clip of these because sometimes when I show things with the camera when I come to edit they're really blurry. These are really pretty and I don't tend to have many gold stud earrings because all of my earrings are silver. This is obviously an item that you can't try on, it does say for hygiene reasons only open if it's to keep and I am actually going to keep these ones. So these ones are £22 which I think isn't too bad of value. I do tend to buy a lot of my earrings from Pandora which are kind of the £20-£25-£30 range so it's what I would usually pay for studs to be honest but I think these are really nice and a nice size as well so I say we'll definitely be keeping these. Next we have a top from the brand People Tree which isn't a brand I've heard of before. This is a kind of chocolatey brown long sleeve top which does have the sort of button detail on the front here. It is a really nice soft material and it did fit really nice. My only issue is the price of this one. This is a t-shirt where I could easily get the kind of style of it at Primark. Obviously it does feel really nice quality but this t-shirt is £49. I believe the higher end of the budget I set for tops is either 40 or 45 so this one is definitely over budget. They do occasionally try and send you the odd item over budget in the hope you'll love it and purchase it but yeah not, not a plain top like this I would never spend £49 on it so this is another one that's going back. And then the final item is this pair of pants which is from the brand Warehouse. So all the tops and the dresses I've got in a 12 but for pants I am a size 14. These do fit really nice and they are a cut off length. They're not too high of a cut off in that they kind of look like they've shrunk in the wash, not that they're intentionally cut off and they are a really wide leg as well. I do really like these button details on the front and they do fit me really well. I just don't have a need for them. If I did still work in an office where I had to wear office attire, then these would be ones I would definitely consider keeping but because I only wear jeans for work and I never wear this kind of clothes out of the office these ones are going back as well which is a bit of a shame. These ones are £36 which for warehouse I don't think is too bad and I say they are really nice I just I know I wouldn't wear them because I don't want to wear office attire if I don't need to. So this fix was a bit of a miss to be honest I don't feel like there's many things there that are 100% my style 
the pants yes okay they are my style but i know for a fact i have on my profile that i don't wear office attire i do wear casual so i don't have the need for them and okay i haven't specifically said that i don't like wrap dresses but i've said that i don't like to have my boobs on show and i've also thumbs down all the wrap dresses i've seen as you can see i didn't get the pair of sandals that i asked for so i did consult the little note that you get from the stylist she did say that she was unable to find the perfect pair of sandals this time around but if i was to do another fix in the future i could ask for a pair again i don't know if it's perhaps because they do maybe only have so many products available to them at certain times of the year so it's around this time of year that the kind of autumn clothes start coming out so they wouldn't have access to much summer clothes which would be sandals so i think that may be why i didn't get them because looking at all the stuff i've been sent it is definitely all autumn type clothes she also said that she's included the wide crop trousers which will be a great staple to my wardrobe yes okay a black pair of pants would be but i just don't feel like i need them and then she also said as she knows i like burgundy she couldn't resist sending me the top from people tree which she knows is slightly above my preferred price but is a great investment piece for the autumn and winter she's obviously sent me it because i think most items that have been sent to me that have been big burgundy or maroon in the past i've kept or any top that's been maroon or burgundy on the thumbs up system of thumbs up but this to me is more brown i wouldn't say it was kind of burgundy although i'm not too sure but yeah the, for the price of that i definitely wouldn't be keeping that one so if i had chosen to keep all five of the items the total would have come to 186 pounds but they do offer a little incentive if you do decide to keep all five items they do give you a 20 percent discount which would have meant that the total was 148 pounds 80. so i do like that they do give that incentive but I've not had a box yet where I've absolutely loved all five items. So for me, the only item that I am going to keep from this fix is these earrings from Morvet. So the £10 that I paid as a styling fee will come off these because I've already paid it. So it will mean that on checkout, I just need to pay the remaining £12 for these. So it's not a complete bust because I did come away with the earrings, but clothes wise, obviously there was nothing that I liked or liked enough to purchase. But that's fine that's kind of the fun of the game of what they are going to send you and when i put the comments on from these items hopefully next time if i do continue with the same stylist she will kind of learn not to send me those kind of things it's a service i will definitely be using again in the future if this is a service that you do think you would like to give a try yourself i do actually have a referral link which i will put in the description box below this is not sponsored by them in any way. When you sign up to an account, you do get your own referral link. But if you follow the link in the description box, it will entitle you to £15 off your first fix. So that £15 will cover the £10 styling fee and also give you an extra £5 off anything that you choose to keep. No obligation to follow the link or anything because I do get a little bit of credit in my account if you do follow it. But if you do decide to follow my link, obviously thank you in advance. But that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks.